Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is a general reading so it might not resonate with you so please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions and you would like to inquire about having your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the different types of readings that I can offer you so we can go and find those answers that you're looking for. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So, with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. I'm going to explain it to you just one moment. First of all, I would like to mention that this reading is dedicated to the sign of Leo. Why Leo? Because it's Leo's turn, but mostly because um, these messages have been channeled to the sign of Leo. Okay, so um, these messages are coming from your spirit guide. They are channeled for your sign, Leo, and these are all about warnings and blessings. Okay, so it could all be warnings. It could all be blessings. It could be half-half. It could be a combo. We're going to know whenever we do turn these cards over to see what message your spirit guide has for you. So let's go and see what channeled messages are there. So I have blessed. I have a chance in the wind. I have flow and I have strengthening bonds. So we are going to begin over here with a chance in the wing, in the wind and not in the wing. So um, this is all about a sense that an unseen change has been kind of initiated here. Um, a preparation for a storm, perhaps, awareness that your plans might not just be onto a firm ground right now. Um, this is feeling a certain shift. It's an uncertainty about which direction those winds are going to be blowing. Um, and, you know, it's human nature, you know, to yearn for certainty and to resist that change to want the world to simply remain consistent like a zebra stripe. This is why we're shown here the zebra. Yet nothing in human experience is black and nothing is white. Um, nor will anything remain just static. No, the one thing that is guaranteed is change, nothing else. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions and temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. You need to stay the course and you need to remember that even storms serve to clear the air. They scatter seeds and they nourish the soil for better things ahead. So life is all about to get very interesting for you, let's put it that way, because a storm is going to be coming by and as I just said, you're going to have some seeds that are going to be planted and you're going to have some growth coming from it. So you need to anticipate with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in on the shifting winds and the unknown is where that magic lies. Now. Relationships do go through, you know, tough periods where partners seem out of sync with each other. And I feel this is what is going on right now. And stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship together. But perhaps someone, perhaps spirit is thinking that someone has a change of heart and leaves. These rough seas are going to offer opportunities for mutual growth a way for you to understand your own heart better and to know what you need to truly be happy. You need to rest assured that whatever is happening right now, good is going to come from it. You need to take the temporary shelter that you need. You need to remove yourself from the drama. The air is going to clear and everything is going to be fresh and new again. And this, Spirit says, is also going to pass. Okay? The storm is going to pass on by. Now, blessed. Something wonderful, something that is unearthed and unexpected is going to, um, that is unforeseen is a gift from spirit that is coming to you. There are moments in life when out of the blue, it seems that everything has kind of been orchestrated by any divine intervention. You feel blessed in ways that are difficult to express as if it is, you know, the Red Sea that parts right in front of you and events come together to banish your troubles easily and naturally. You just know deep down that you did not deserve any of that and yet here you are. This is just one of those times you need to let awe and gratitude for all your blessings guide you now. 
as Spirit said, you're going to be having a difficult moment here, but after that difficult moment, everything is going to pass. Everything is going to be okay. And this is where the card and the message of blessed comes into play. You're moving toward a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know that you are meant to make this connection, this union. It is blessed by the divine and it will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and with spirit. With this new development, you are see evidence of grace in your life. Okay? So really, quite beautiful. A little bit of a hardship, but then you're just going to have pure beauty and pure, just to be blessed by spirit afterwards. Um, we're going to move over to strengthening bonds over here. And this, of course, is about a certain stability. It's about being grounded. It's that health that comes with it. The potential exists now to bring that greater stability into your relationship. But you need to be realistic about what you expect from others and what you can offer in return. You need to be consistent. You need to be clear in your actions and demand the same. And by taking down a two-earth approach, your expectations of other people are more likely to be met. And relationships will simply be strengthened. Scattered emotional energy is not going to serve you. Be sure to ground yourself. Steady and calm energy is going to translate into secure and strong relationships. To ground yourself, take a walk into the nature. Connect with the energy that is around you. Enjoy, you know, greater health by exercising. Um, you know, this, this is all going to give you a lot of, of confidence about yourself and into your abilities. And this self-assured energy is going to enable you to improve your current relationship and to attract new ones as well. And this is exactly what it is that you want. You want to have that strengthening bonds. Following, I have the flu. These are energies that are around you at this time that are now positive and they're driving you forward. You need to let yourself flow with these energies and you need to put good use to them. This is an opportune time to attract your heart's desires. Do you want more love? Do you want more peace? Do you want greater understanding? Is your heart calling out for a new relationship maybe? Does a current relationship need improvement? Focus on your desires and allow them to manifest by expecting them to. At the same time, you need to release yourself to the flow. Events greater than you can ever imagine may be heading your way. Project your desires. Project your desires, but also be open to new possibilities. Good fortune and joyful synchronicities, they are going to be coming your way. Spirit guide is sending them your way. And once you open your heart and your arms wide and embrace what comes to you, Nothing is static. Life flows in cycles. It's expanding. It's contracting. It's changing. It's growing. And you may be entering a new cycle regarding matters of the heart. You need to welcome this new cycle. And when a stone is tossed into a pond, the ripples flow with the water as they expand and as they grow. You are in an exciting period of forward movement and expansion heading into the unknown. This forward movement may guide you into new relationships or out of old ones. In either case, note that the change is for your highest good and the energy of expansion will help you grow into your new situation gracefully, safely, and comfortably. This does conclude your channeled messages from your spirit guide. I do hope that you enjoyed them. I do hope that you're going to be able to apply them. The warning as much as the blessings part. Um, if you do have any questions, you would like your own uh, your own reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings. And I wish you a blessed day. Thank you for being there. Thank you for listening. And I will see you tomorrow with uh, some more messages. Thank you for being there.